you're not in the street art or graffiti scene, then you probably have no idea that Brisbane internationally hits well above its weight. We've got some of the best street artists there are on the planet. A lot of them, maybe they're not still in Brisbane, but they did come from here. This has birthed so many great graffiti muralists. So it should be no surprise that the new international world movement, Peace for Peace, was started by a former Brisbane street artist. We've got to leave this planet better than where we found it. Yeah. And this is this is just our way to, to start doing that. Right now, I'm at the Tingalpa Spillway, which has long been a place where Brisbane graffiti muralists have come to practice their craft. And it's actually been a stage from which they've kicked off into international careers. This has been the home of Brisbane's graffiti for over 30 years. And it's actually now the third of Brisbane's four legal street art walls. The Peace for Peace event happened at Brisbane's first street art wall at Ekebin Park. But I'll let Turvo tell you about that. Today is Peace for Peace Day which was started by Treasy and his fiancée, Sydney Duarte. All around the world today, I believe we're in 20 countries today, uh, graffiti artists will be painting the word peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, to basically spread positivity, spread peace, and do our bit to, you know, just uplift the world a little bit. Treasy's originally from Brisbane, so being a Brisbane boy, the home team had to show out and uh, show out they did. So we're down here at the Ekebin Legal Walls, which was the first council supported legal wall in Brisbane. So it's nice for us to have a space that is our own. We didn't need any council permits for it, any approvals, funding, that sort of stuff. We were able to come down here and just put on a genuine community event by the community for the community. Some of the paint that we used was kindly donated uh, by Super Ordinary, who put on the big event Brisbane Street Art Festival. Outside of that, all the paint that you see for murals was all just bought and supplied by the artists that are using it. A bunch of artists, we just went through our collection. We all have scrap cans that have got a quarter left in it and we brought it all down here so local kids, adults, kids at heart, everyone could have a paint. Uh, some artists made up stencils and we just put on a workshop for the local community. Like we're a pretty big community here and when everyone chips in, we don't need to go for big sponsors. We can keep it all in house. So it's nice to see this event genuinely mean enough to people that they would all just tip in what they can and make something beautiful happen. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's really different. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it was a great success. So we started off this morning in about ankle deep water and a lot of people were going, ah, oh, is it going to go ahead? Is it going to go ahead? Um, but we figured we're out here for the right cause. Treasy, who started as such a positive, uplifting person and uh, he's pretty good at making miracles happen and this weather's as close as it gets. So whether you believe in it or not, his uh, prayers definitely worked. They got us immaculate weather. And as people were seeing it on social media, just we started with the diehards that were willing to paint in ankle deep water as the water was rising. Then it started to go down, the weather got better, the vibes got better, more people were turning up. Local community heard about it on social media, like the Lord Mayor of Brisbane, Adrian Trina posted about it. Councillor Fiona Cunningham, who this is her area, posted about it. Brisbane Times gave us a blog article about it. We've had it really pushed throughout the community, but then a lot of it's just these bikeways and parks are so popular. People are coming by and they're sort of like, oh, what's going on? They can tell it's something, they don't know what it is. So we're happy to invite them in and show them what it's about. And it's kind of nice because street arts generally, by the time the public sees it, it's so curated and thought out and they don't actually see our grassroots events. Where they're coming down here, we got kids playing in the water, we got dogs running around, we got people playing, like mates catching up. It's good fun. So they get to see street art at a real street level and us doing what we do. And I think also because we're all painting the same work, it sort of closes that barrier for entry. 
a lot of the time people look at it and they're like, oh, it's nice, but what does it say? When you come down here, you know what it says. We all say peace. It's positive. Everyone's feeling good. So people are, you know, comfortable chatting to us, asking questions, finding out how the caps work. And um, I think today's been a huge success. You may notice a new peace symbol called a teo in many of the pieces. It stands for the awakening of humanity, and I'll let Treasy explain. Just to give you a bit of background on how the symbol came about, I was doing a 10 day water fast and I started researching the origins of the peace symbol, believing it to be an ancient symbol. To my surprise, it was actually only created in 1958 and it stands for nuclear disarmament. When I had this realization, I saw the potential to create a symbol that stands for something more positive and didn't have the energy of being against something. And what better way to create a positive symbol for um, the future of humanity rather than getting humanity itself to put its energy, prayers and intentions into it to shape and define what this symbol means. Teo is a multi-leveled symbol. On a personal level, it's going to reflect to you of what you want to call into your personal life and future. But on the highest level, it stands for the awakening of humanity, us reaching our fullest, highest potential and a peaceful, positive future. So I don't know where this is all going to lead, but I do believe if we collect enough energy together, the path will be revealed. This isn't something that's only for creatives because I believe everybody is creative. And when we're painting walls, there's so many times people go, I wish I could create something, but I can't even draw a stick figure. Well, now you can, because I'm going to show you. So here it is. This is for you. Peace, love, Teo. So this little being comes with a mantra that shows you how to draw it. First of all, you just draw this shape. Then we add the third eye for unity consciousness. The next step is you want to add the letter M and you want to try to get the angle similar to that top one so you can create infinity. <clears throat> You've also created the letter A. So now it says I, A, M, I, M, the infinite. Use that A again, awakening. Add the O of, put a H here for humanity. Then we give it little hands, because hands are what we create with. And when we create the awakening, we get little light beams and become little light beams. Teo, the awakening of humanity. Now, before I show you all the amazing pieces that were produced here in Brisbane on Peace for Peace Day, let me first give a shout out to Jaden Fuchs whose video was at the very beginning of this video. I had to add my own music for copyright reasons, but I'll put the full edit on the community tab of the Brisbane channel so you can check out that video there. It's a pretty cool retro looking video about the event. I also need to thank the supporters of the Brisbane channel, the members whose names are down here their support helps make videos like this possible. Now I need to let you know that I am planning a deep dive into the street art scene here in Brisbane, a video on that which will look at the history right up until the present day uh, and talk with some of the key players in the street art scene here in Brisbane. Uh, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on that and hit all notifications because you might miss it otherwise. Um, and also another member of the Brisbane channel, Flying Beard Man. As an elite contributor, he gets to give me an instruction I must carry out in one video each month. And his instruction for April was to say the line, one man, one tree, one minute. That will make a lot more sense if you go and check out his channel because uh, that's quite central to a lot of the things he's trying to achieve. But please do keep watching so that you can see each one of the really unique, amazing artworks that were produced by Brisbane street artists on Peace for Peace Day. See you in the next video.